A rare honour for an opposition leader, a private meeting in Jakarta with Indonesia's president. A lot had been made of Tony Abbott's intention to raise asylum seeker policy, but the most controversial element of his plan, towing back the boats, wasn't discussed. There was no specific uh, identification of the need to so-called, uh, what was the term? To, uh, turn around. Yes, to turn around the boats, yeah. The leaders talked in general terms about people smuggling and left the nitty-gritty to the ministers and shadows. It was raised. It was raised between Mr Morrison and Julie Bishop, the respective shadow spokesman, and Mr Netalagawa, the foreign minister. The opposition leader insists there'd be no megaphone diplomacy under an Abbott government. Instead, a no-surprises policy. A coalition government would try to deal with its Indonesian counterpart as a candid friend and never make decisions that impact on Indonesia without discussing them first. All the more reason, say the government, for him to take the opportunity now. Mr Abbott doesn't have the guts to raise with international leaders uh, issues that he says are important. He talks tough in Canberra, uh, but doesn't talk at all in Jakarta. He's a lion in Canberra and a mouse in Indonesia. Indonesia has made clear it doesn't like the coalition's towback policy, but Mr Abbott insists it will be part of his solution to stop the flow of asylum seeker boats. He's promised to make Indonesia his first port of call if elected Prime Minister, meaning an immediate and rigorous test of his diplomatic skills. David Lipson, Sky News, Canberra.